This instructional video is to help you make sure you release your fifth wheel successfully and make sure your trailer is secure and drops safely. After you park, apply your brakes and do your post-trip inspection, here's how to release your fifth wheel. What you want to do next is disconnect the emergency and service airlines and the electrical cord, hang them back in their holsters. Um, then we want to walk around and dolly down the trailer until the legs are just touching the ground. Um, then we're going to re-enter the cab with three points of contact. Once repositioned back in the cab, you're going to want to drop your suspension. What that's going to do is that's going to let the trailer rest on the pavement and it's also going to push the fifth wheel towards the trailer. Pushing it towards the trailer is important so that it doesn't bind, so that the back of the kingpin isn't up against the latch on the fifth wheel. After you drop your suspension, you're gonna press and hold the fifth wheel release button. You're gonna hold it for about three seconds. Um, after about three seconds, you should see a um, notification on the instrument cluster letting you know that air has been applied to the system and that it's safe to pull forward. After receiving the notification on the ICU, you want to release the tractor parking brakes, pull forward and stop. You want to wait till it fully inflates the ride height before proceeding, that way to prevent damage to the drive line or suspension components. After that, you're done. In case of remaining air buildup in the kingpin, you may need to gently rock the cab back and forth to get the kingpin to release. And that's it. These steps are in order in which you can release your fifth wheel. If you feel there's a problem with your kingpin release, follow these steps first, then contact a Crete Schaefer Maintenance Department if you're still having trouble.